Jennifer Aniston paid tribute to her father John Aniston at the Daytime Emmy Awards on Friday, June 24. The Friends actress, 53, gave an emotional speech while presenting the iconic Days of Our Lives actor, 88, with a Lifetime Achievement Award. Although John was not in attendance at the in-person ceremony at the Pasadena Civic Auditorium and Jennifer previously recorded her message, it was undoubtedly a special moment as the pair had been formerly estranged for quite some time. It's an opportunity to not only pay tribute to a true icon in the daytime television world, but it's also a chance to recognize the lifelong achievements of a great and well-respected actor who also happens to be my dad, Jennifer began in her speech. John Aniston has been working in television consistently for over half a century. He started acting in 1962, garnering roles on all types of now classic television programs like Combat, Mission Impossible, Kojak and later made many guest appearances on shows like Airwolf, Gilmore Girls, The West Wing, Star Trek, Voyager, Mad Men, the list goes on. All while simultaneously appearing in nearly every soap opera imaginable. You name it, I'm sure he's been on it, she quipped. She then went on to highlight the role John took in 1985 that made him a household name, Victor Kyriakis on Days of Our Lives. For over 30 years, his dedication to that show has gained him the respect and admiration of his fellow actors, deep friendships, and thrilled millions of fans around the world, Jennifer concluded. His career is literally the definition of lifetime achievement. The show of love and support was a far cry from Jennifer and John's relationship in the past, where the pair were estranged after John left his wife and Jennifer's mother, Nancy Dell, and Jennifer when the star was only nine years old. In an interview with Rolling Stone in 1999, Jennifer said she didn't see her father until a year later. He just called one day and said, let's go see the Fantastics. So we had a little dinner and saw the show. After that, I started seeing him on weekends, and this new way of life just unfolded. The pair eventually made amends. As best he could, my dad explained and apologized, and it's enough. We've made up. There's still parts that are hard for me, but I'm an adult. I can't blame my parents anymore, 